My name is Michaela Smith. I'm from Littleton, Colorado. I've been playing volleyball for about eight years now. I play for Metro State University of Denver. I do the same motions over and over and just one day at practice, at the very beginning of my season, I bent down to pass a ball and I felt my hip lock up. And I went over to my trainer and she stretched it out and we had no idea what happened. About a week later after my MRI and x-rays and seeing both Dr. Folk and Dr. Elman, we discovered that it was a torn labrum. She had what we call mixed type femoral acetabular impingement, or FAI, where she had a, a subtle bony abnormality in both the femur, or the femoral head, the ball part of the socket, and the socket. And you put those together and it combines to form this impingement type syndrome where patients can get a labral tear. And I played my whole season on it. I fixed it in January, went through rehab with Panorama. I was back ready to play in three months. And while I was on crutches for my left hip, I tore my right one. The labrum is invisible on the x-ray, but it lives right over here. And so this irregular contour of her femoral head and neck, when she puts herself in deep squat type positions when she's playing volleyball or when she's jumping and landing, this is actually impinging against the labrum right here, and the labrum is tearing right here. Within a month of me having my cortisone shot, my MRI, everything, I had my surgery. And so what we do is not only fix the labrum in surgery, but we come over here and we decompress that bone and make a nice smooth contour. You kind of want this to look like a light bulb. If you were to tilt your head a little bit, this to look like a light bulb um, when we're all done. And, and you want to see symmetric uh, kind of offset on both the inferior side and the superior side. And you can see how much space she now has. Um, when she's playing volleyball uh, to prevent this process from happening again. He was confident, like he knew what he was doing. He really helped to make sure that the process went smoothly and from the moment I came out of anesthesia till after I was cleared, I never had any pain, never, no aches, nothing, except for when I sneezed, that hurt. <laughs> my, that hurt my uh, hip flexor, but that's it. It was amazing to go from walking in pain to absolutely no pain. I've seen so many people who have struggles with their hips not being back for up to six months or even more than that and I was ready to go at three months. It was nice to be able to be back that quickly. So volleyball is a tough sport on your hips with all the bending and jumping and running after things. For the last two seasons I've had bad hips so now this will be my first season with healthy hips and I just played my whole spring season with it and I felt better than I have for the last two years because both my hips were healthy. I could jump, move, everything without worrying about what I'm gonna do to it. The fact that they've been able to hold up after the surgeries and be able to go through everything after they've been fixed has been like really amazing.